Before we move any deeper into JavaScript, we want to start using an external JavaScript file because that is the best way to utilize your JavaScript code. And that is the way most websites do that. Now, similar to the CSS series, we are going to create a website folder where we'll keep all of our website code and we'll call that simply website. And we're going to use the HTML code uh, from the second video. I think that was on statements. So let's just move that into here and let's open that folder now. And now let's create our JavaScript file. It'll be empty in the beginning, but then we'll populate it with a couple instructions. So let's go ahead and just make a simple text document. Let's open that up. And then what you want to do is save that as a .js file. So we're going to call this test.js. And then you want to select all files and make sure this is on C right here. And then we'll hit save. And there you can see we've got our nice little JavaScript file now. And we can delete our original text file. And then let's just go ahead and open this up with Notepad. And we'll just size this over here. And let's go ahead and open up our web page. And there is the JavaScript that we created from the second video. And uh, we're just going to reuse this. This isn't a tutorial about creating JavaScript code. It's about actually using an external JavaScript file. So let's just put in something different just to be different. And let's just say we are now using a JS file, something like that. Now, all we have to do is copy the instruction. We don't need the script tags because this is just a JavaScript file. So we just copy and paste that over here and we end the statement with a semicolon as we always do. And so we can go ahead and get rid of this now. But we need to specify it in our HTML, our external JavaScript file. So let's get rid of this angle bracket and we will use the source attribute. By the way, this is the same process for an external CSS sheet, the same idea. So let's point to that file and again it's test dot js and we will close it with another angle bracket let's save this oops we need to save our js file first and let's save our notepad file here and then let's again open this up in notepad plus plus let's run this in chrome and there you can see we are now using a javascript file so let's close that out let's close everything out now and now we've got our folder. Now there are two main reasons that you want to use a JavaScript file. The first is that we do not want to unnecessarily clutter our HTML page because it will become unreadable. And again, that is similar to why you would use a CSS external style sheet. The other reason is that a lot of our JavaScript code will be used by other web pages. So it makes sense to share that among all of our web pages rather than having to retype that out for every web page. That's just kind of a pain. So it makes sense again to create a external file that we can use over and over again throughout all of our web pages. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.